In the fall I was a sinner In the spring I was a saint That snow seemed to fall forever And the flowers bloomed too late And the way you said you loved me Wouldn't mean that much to some But I love yous don't come often At least not for everyone And I've been walking Down the soles of my shoes And I've been going out at night Till the hour that I choose And I don't ever ask for nothing And I get nothing in return Cause I've been walking Just to feel sunlight burn And all the poets fill the spaces where the silence used to be And the painters show us places beyond what our eyes can see Guys like me will always write our songs who are living on the run But these songs don't come too often, at least not for everyone And I've been walking down the soles of my shoes and I've been going stories that are worth telling but you'll never hear me tell things that i am not too proud of things that i have not done well i wouldn't say i was a boy who became a man in that lonely place i'd say i was a man already now with more wrinkles on his face and i've been walking oh, down the soles of my shoes and i've been going out at night till the for applause. Come on, camera guys, give me some love, okay, come on. Ah, uh, that feels good. That's the dopamine rush that I was looking for. All for you, applauding, feels good. Feels just like old times. Hello, everybody out there in TV land. We are the Sam Chase, the Chandra Johnson, and the Devin McClive. And for now, we're called the Sam Chase Trio, until we can think of a better name. Um, but it's good to see it every oh, well. It's good to see the camera people, and uh, we got some a bunch of cardboard cutouts out here, and everybody looks like they're having a really good time, and that's good that you put out the ones that are having a good time as opposed to the ones that aren't. Um, feels good. It's it's uh, you know a little. It's like a little taste of home, and we haven't been home in a long time. Um, it's good to know that I haven't lost my witty banter, and uh, hopefully Chandra hasn't lost the ability to cut me off. Um, when I've been doing too much of it. What do you think, Chandra? All right, let's go on to the next song. <laughs> Wrap it
You could almost hear everybody on their couches applauding. Devin McClive on the cello, everybody. He was a country boy Made from mud and stone Born with two strong hands That he worked down to the bone He was a goddamn boy Came from a goddamn man Who made a goddamn girl Who took his God and ran So carry my bones down to my grave I gave you my word I can't give you everything So carry my bones Go down to my grave Along with my Carry my balls, go down to my grave. I gave you my word, I can't give you everything. So carry my balls, go down to my grave. Along with my and entertain these people.
<laughs> Thank you, camera people. I can't help but notice that the cardboard cutouts did not applaud. However, hopefully they're watching at home plotting. You know, I got to say, I, uh, I, I haven't gotten nervous before a show in a very long time. And people often ask me, they're like, what's the most nervous that, at a show that you've ever been? Was it, you know, some of the bigger shows that you've played? And I'm like, absolutely not. The more people that are there, the more I feel comfortable in front of an audience. And I don't think that that has to necessarily do with the fact that uh, I am comfortable in front of more people. It's just that there are more accepting people rather than not. It, when I go to a place where there's very few people, um, then I really do feel the need to entertain a very small select number of folks. And when the majority of those folks, folks are made out of cardboard, um, that makes it way more difficult. I don't know if we can pan over and see some of these characters that we got here. They all look like very nice folks. I think the camera's panned over now. We're taking a look at everybody. It's kind of like romper room. We got, uh, we got all these nice folks just smiling back at us. But you know what? They probably smiled for all the other acts that came into town, too. And so it makes me feel, I don't know, it's, uh, it's, it's heartwarming to know that they're out there. But my god. I haven't been this nervous in a really long time. I got to practice in front of more cardboard cutouts of smiling, lovely people. I was notified earlier that there is a comment section. Um, obviously, we can't read the comment section, but um, we might, uh, you know, hang out in our hotel room and read the comment section later. So please leave nice comments. Don't tell me that I had a booger sticking out the entire time, all right? That's all I'm asked for. Oh, so myself. Yeah. Got carried away with myself. This next song I wrote a long time ago about um, basically how I'm a grown up and uh, how uh, I feel like I've got lots of excuses as to why I should still absolutely be terrified of ghosts in the middle of the night when I get up and walk around my house. This song is called I Saw What I Saw. Something was amiss, there was a creaking down the hall The moon was out and making shadow puppets on the wall Looking back it seemed so silly it left a chill down through my bones But that night I thought there really was a ghost inside my home But I saw what I saw and nothing else Can tell a story like my mind's been known to tell you can never be too sure of what you're sure But I saw what I saw and I know what I know Maybe I just didn't see what I was shown I've never climbed a hill without having that sinking thought This is the biggest freaking hill that I have ever come across But you can't live your life on roads that never rise or wind Hills are fun on the way down, hey man, first you gotta climb But I saw what I saw and nothing else Can tell a story like my mind's been known to tell you can never be too sure of what you're told But I saw what I saw and I know what I know Maybe I just didn't see what I was shown really knows for sure but let's not dwell on this too long cause what we've chosen to see is a big beautiful world the mind's a funny thing or maybe funny is not the word but i saw what i saw and nothing else can tell a story like my mind's been known to tell oh you can never be too sure of what you're told but i saw Just 
didn't see what I was shown Oh, maybe I just didn't see what I was shown Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate the applause. It's a nice finalizer for me. This next song is off of uh, an album that we released in 2020. This song was kind of written as one of those songs that you might write when you wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning thinking to yourself that all your childhood pets are dead and that everyone you ever know and love will soon be gone off this planet. Um, you know the thoughts. Thanks, Sam. Yeah, I've had a, quite a few of them over the past year. <laughs> um, but uh, you can't help it. It's your brain is like, hey, you want to have some fun? Everything you love is going to die. <laughs> Maybe I'm alone on this. Maybe I'm not. But I got a good song out of it. This song is called Ace Up His Sleeve. Tell me what to say To keep all these bloodthirsty killers at bay now I know that I know Not what I do I'm doing all that I can To make it back home to you When we throw down our hands, I would 
wouldn't be surprised to see that he had an ace hiding up his sleeve. God had an ace hiding up his sleeve. Thank you very much, everybody. Well, this next song here, I wrote the morning after John Prine passed away. And for me, and for a lot of songwriters I know, John Prine was kind of our North Star. And he was the songwriter's songwriter, but also he was a fan's songwriter. He was, the, the fandom of John Prine, I've said this before, is, uh, is a very personal fandom. Uh, you know, it's like, there, there are other artists and bands out there, you can share your fandom with everybody. Like, Bruce Springsteen is one of those artists where just everybody can be fans together and congregate together. I feel like with John Prine, it was a very personal type of fandom. It's a very, it's a, it's a emotional, deep to the core type of fandom that you only put on in those darkest moments when you really need someone to be there to lend you a hand. And John Prine was always there for me in those moments. And uh, played a pivotal role for me throughout my life. Um, and uh, when he died, it was also when coronavirus basically was the first time at, at which point coronavirus really hit home for me. And uh, I had a hard time sleeping that night got up before the sun came up, sat down and watched the first sunrise without John Prine, and I wrote this song. Recorded it before lunch, and you can find it on YouTube, actually. It's the same recording that I made that morning, but this is my tribute to John Prine. This morning I woke before the sunrise I couldn't sleep after finding out last night you had died Tossing and turning from one side to the other Poured myself a cup, not a moment too soon I got to see as the sunlight crept into the room but this new dawn was a little darker than those I remember Hello operator, I know it's been a long time Could you patch me through to God and keep him on the line? I got a friend, wanna make sure he made it all right Down here goes by the name John Bryan I can hear you breathing All the way from the other side I can hear all the songs you've been singing From all of us who won't ever let them die Whispering Angel from Montgomery Turns out living wasn't such a hard way to go How could we ever have known when you died alone the Montgomery's angel had flown This morning I woke Before the sunrise Couldn't sleep after finding out Last night you had died Cut down in your prime And then put out to pasture Josh wrote me, Sam, what are we 
supposed to do now All I thought to write back Was just make him proud Write songs in his name And send him off to the happily ever after Hello operator I know it's been a long time Could you patch me through to God And keep him on the line I got a friend Wanna make sure he made it all right Down here he goes by the name of John Prine Oh hello operator I know it's been a long time Could you patch me through to God And have him sell me a sign I got a friend I wanna make sure he made it all right Down here he goes by the name John Prine Thank you very much. This next song here is about drinking too much and having way too much fun with two of your wonderful bandmates, which we do from time to time. We haven't done it in, in a while. Well. well, we did it last week. But before that, we hadn't done it in a really long time. We did. We really tied one on. I'm proud of us. We're, we were a little rusty. But we really showed that, uh, that small backyard party a thing or two about how to party. Sure did. That was a cold night. I think I'm still hungover. <laughs> but uh, I wrote this song as kind of like a heroic, kind of like a, like a hero's journey through a cold night. Um, and I felt that there was kind of, like, it's like a victorious heroic song about drinking too much and having way too much fun. And, it was, and I thought this for years, and it wasn't until somebody at a show came up to me after the show, and they were like, hey, you know that song about drinking too much and having way too much fun? And I was like, yeah. And the guy was like, are you all right? Are you doing okay? And I was like, what are you talking about? And he's like, that's the saddest song I've ever heard. And I thought to myself for a minute, no, it's heroic and victorious. And the guy was like, I don't think you know what those words mean, man. That's one of the saddest songs I'd ever heard. And I was like, whatever, man. You don't know what you're talking about. I went back and listened to that song. It's the saddest song I've ever written. But it's a victorious sad song. There's heroism in the sadness. And it, I don't know. I think sad songs are there to make people feel good sometimes. Help, pe help pick people up when they need it. So here's my happy sad song. It's called Cold Night. It's a cold night And it calls for cigarettes Oh, it calls for whiskey drinks And it calls for no regrets It's gonna be a night where all the girls Don't know just who they're up against And all these peaceful weekend warriors They've all gone off to bed And I need a long night like I need a rope around my neck Or I'll be swinging from the rafters Before it all comes to an end Even though I count it as a loss Loss is better than no bet But I'll always be a betting man Even when they sack the deck It's a cold night and I should take care of myself It's not until I hit the bottom do I worry about my health I can be burning like a flame while I am chilled down to the bone Soaring high above the rooftops while I'm sinking like a stone Ran I What's the point of being a better man when you can
was a cold night Thought I'd never see the dawn But now my skin's a suit of iron To protect a soul that's made of stone But my heart still pounds a war drum rhythm As it rattles in my chest When I'm standing on the front lines Watching the sun rise overhead When I need it last night I may need it again tonight Cause I'm a solitary warrior Fighting a solitary light So I'll see you in the morning And I may have stories to tell These nights may be the stuff of legends So let's make legends of ourselves Whoa! Thank you very much, everyone. Everyone at home, don't forget to hit up the merch booth after the show at thesamchase.com. You can buy all our CDs and hoodies and sweatshirts and vinyls and things. And I'll put it in the mail as soon as I get home. And also, I believe, is there like some sort of tip function that I, that I am supposed to, uh, is there a tip function? Okay, yes, okay, cool. Use the tip function. I think it's probably a button that says tip. I'm not so sure. I don't work here. <laughs> What's this next song, Sam? This next song, Chandra, is, uh, is the, the hot summer jam of 2019 uh, off of our Faustian Spaghetti Western rock opera called The Last Rites of Dallas Pistol. Tell me more, Sam. Well, I'll tell you that it's a, uh, a thematic telling of a, of a young child born in a bad situation and a loving father that lovingly sells his own souls to the devil in order to save his sons. However, oftentimes when you do deals with the devil, it doesn't work out in the way that you had planned. So the father sells his own soul to the devil and the devil gives the father a banjo and tells the boy tells the father to give this banjo to the boy and this will protect him like a talisman it will protect him as he grows up in this harsh landscape but little do we know at that time that the talisman is nothing more than just a, a banjo and the gift bestowed on the boy is a murderous bloodlust and as the boy gets older he finds himself going from town to town with his parents and uh much like the Wild West outlaws of old, finding himself a victim in every town. He realizes that he has this gift of invincibility. Bent bullets, dull blades, doesn't matter. Nothing can kill him. And uh, our dark story reaches a point where he's walking alongside the spirit of the devil and finds himself at a moral crossing uh, where uh, either he takes his gift and uses it to murder all of the innocent, or maybe perhaps he takes this gift to find the devil himself and murder the man who gave him the gift in the first place. So this is when he's at that crossroads with the spirit of the devil. This song is called Mountains of Shame. One, two, three, four. Marching more like 
like spinning, slightly flailing. It's a rhythm much like falling down the stairs. Oh, there's no real reason for it, so let us pause just for a minute. Stop pretending that the other isn't there. Oh, I can hear you telling secrets. I know what they say about me, but I can't tell you that none of it is true. But one thing that I can say is when they finally cross my way, they will be crying to the heavens, at least until I'm through. Even a mountain can know shame. The water runs in fear and wind will howl from the pain. Well, my place upon this earth, no, we don't belong together. One foot goes right in front of the other. I'll lead the way, we'll walk forever. Quiver. Grown men hear my name and shiver. I am known for many tales of woe. Oh, how awkward it must be for the man they've come to see is just a small boy, poor and alone, except for his banjo. Arriving at the bar to play a show. They say, hey boy, where's your daddy? I got a word I'd like to have with him. It's time that he's answered for his crimes. I say, I don't know what you've heard. My daddy has been dead a long time. I'm the man you come to see. So let's just take this outside. And even a mountain can no shame. The water runs in fear and wind will howl from the pain of my place upon this earth. No, we don't belong together. It goes right in front of the other I'll lead the way, we'll walk forever Everybody wants to kill the wolf, everybody wants to show the world Evil is no match for them, but evil only exists to kill good I don't want to be the devil's hand, don't want to follow his command All I want to do is front a band, I'm not a wolf, I'm just a man Oh, everybody wants to kill the wolf, everybody wants to show the world Evil is no match for them, but evil only exists to kill good I don't want to be the devil's hand, don't want to follow his command all I want to do is front a band I'm not a wolf, I'm just a man Oh, everybody wants to kill the wolf Everybody wants to show the world Evil is no match for them But evil only exists to kill good I don't want to be the devil's hand Don't want to follow his command All I want to do is front a band I'm not a wolf, I'm just a man Oh, everybody wants to kill the wolf Everybody wants to show the world Evil is no match for them But evil only exists to kill good I don't want to be the devil's hand Front a band, I'm not a wolf, I'm just a man. Oh, even a mountain can no shame. Who water runs in fear and when will howl from the pain of my place upon this earth. No, we don't belong together. One foot goes right in front of the other because of you. Thank you very much, everyone. We did a full band live stream uh, the other week. Um, last Saturday. Last Saturday with our full uh, untraditional band. It was eight-piece band. And it was a similar situation where we hadn't played a big show together in a long time, and there was uh, not even cardboard uh, audience members in the audience. Um, and... Uh, so at the end of every song, we didn't really know what to do because the cameras were still rolling as they are right now. And so the only thing I could think to do at the end of every song was take a big bow and go, ta-da! 
to the same raucous laughter <laughs> that you're hearing right now. I'm not saying it was a great idea. I'm just, you know, telling you a little bit about how the sausage is made, show to show. We're coming back, and we're a little rusty around the edges, but my God, are we happy to be here. This next song I wrote, uh, I was thinking about Elvis Presley. And Elvis Presley died before I was born. And I was a huge fan of Elvis Presley. But to me, Elvis Presley was infinite. Because he had died before I was born, he could have been as old as the pyramids. I had no idea when I was a kid. And so, you know, as I was writing this song and thinking about Elvis, I was like, well, hold on a second. How old was Elvis Presley when he died? Because I know that there was a period of Elvis's life known as like the old Elvis period, at which point uh, then he died. And so I was like, well, how old was old Elvis? So I Googled Elvis Presley. And it turns out, old Elvis was only 42 years old when he died. And that's wild to me. He had just barely made it to middle age and people were calling him Old Elvis. That's nonsense. So that got me thinking, if Old Elvis wasn't that old, well, good Lord, how fat was Fat Elvis? So ladies and gentlemen, I Googled Fat Elvis. And I found out through Google images, Fat Elvis wasn't that fat. I've been Fat Elvis fat. And thank God nobody called it the Fat Sam Chase period. Because I think that would be unfair. And I think it was unkind to Elvis, too. I think it probably made him eat more peanut butter banana sandwiches because of mean people like you who called him Fat Elvis. <laughs> so this is a cautionary tale. Be careful who you call fat when they're in the prime of their life because they might not even make it past middle age. So this song goes out to old Fat Elvis probably 225 pounds at the tender age of 42. This song is called Don't Let Me Die Middle-Aged. Expects the night to come when the sun's still in the sky. No one's ever won the race with no finish line in sight. And no one writes just half a song and expects it to be a hit. And no one gets over the hump and then decides to quit. No one's ever told you much without getting to the point. No one sets their sights on NYC and then settles on Des Moines. No one tells a story without a beginning or an end. It's the middle that's forgotten and never heard of again. Don't let me die, middle aged. Don't let me die, middle aged. I'm too young to die. up half a mountain and then decides to stop if so you ain't no mountain climber boy you've just gone for a walk you hear finish what you start and once you start you see it through you hear no one likes a quitter even if that's not always true you hear it's bitter to die young you hear those stars burn the most bright but you also hear life well lived is to have lived a good long life But you never hear those middle years are the best times to go 
once you settle with a wife and kids man that's the time to blow don't let me die middle aged don't let me die middle aged I'm too young to die old I'm too old to die young today don't let me die middle aged don't let me die middle aged the sun rises and sets as we forget about the story works after the beginning is the middle after the middle is the ending it really is that simple but if you rate from best to worst which of these you most prefer the middle always comes in last which is not the way it works Cause no one thinks the ending comes in the middle of the book there are so many more pages Someday we'll have a look What's read is in the past And what we read is yet to come But now's not as exciting As what we'll do Or what we've done Don't let me die middle-aged Don't let me die middle-aged I'm too young Just as much to say as all that I have done and all that I have said. Thank you, everyone. I hope everybody is having fun out there at, on their own couch in their living room, hopefully wearing some sort of. Uh, Elastic waistband sweatpants. Um, I really enjoyed wearing elastic around my waist and ankles for the past year, and I took advantage of it. I got a little fat Elvis fat, and I've been working my way back slowly to the land of jeans. And I gotta say, I'm not digging it so far. Once it's socially acceptable for all of us to walk around in elastic around our waist and ankles, I feel like we'll be a better society for it. Because jeans were just invented for people that like worked in the dirt from dawn till dusk, and I've never worked in dirt. But for some reason, I have a reputation to uphold, and that involves wearing clothing that, who knows, if I have to jump in some dirt, I'm your guy. But no, I'll never be your guy. But this next song here is about people that wear jeans from dawn to dusk. <laughs> This song is really about uh, when you find yourself in your weakest moment. That's truly when you realize how strong you are. And uh, I think I, I, I've realized that I'm a very strong person because I've had a lot of weak moments. And uh, I think we're a pretty strong band, actually, to be perfectly honest. We've all seen ourselves at our weakest moments and been there to help each other out and become stronger friends through it. And this song is called Mayflies. Every solution needs a problem And every workhorse needs to be run you say it's so easy with the wind at your back But I like it when it blows at my front 
The birds have stopped singing in the garden For as the sun loses its battle to the night The fox is in the hen house serving chicken noodle soup So it looks like we're having fox again tonight I feel strong, hardened by the years on the hunt Even though I grow weary, oh, I know that I can do it, I can I know that I can do it, I can The air is much sharper in the winter It blows any way and anywhere it pleases It's not meant for breathing It's for chugging and for wheezing As you tread your way through into the spring And every day is a lifetime to the mayflies And our lifetime's just a moment to the mountains Soup on the pavement, let it fly Release the soil locked inside Now that we're done, let's put it back the way we found it I feel strong, hardened by the years on the hook Even though I grow weary, I know that I can do it I can, I know that I can do it memory can remember what's a dream what is this life that I've been living in my sleep so that my dreams are just a lie and as dull as my waking life or is my life one most people only see in dreams is my life one most people only see in dreams Thank you very much, everyone. I swear to God, halfway through that song, there's a, a, a character on cardboard in the audience. And I swear to God, he, didn't, he wasn't giving me a thumbs up at the beginning of this song. But now he's got a thumbs up. And I think that happened during the middle of the song. And I don't know how that worked. But uh, pretty sure. You can't convince me otherwise. That guy is way more stoked than he was before that song started. Maybe the camera can see him. With his thumb, with his thumbs up. You don't see the guy with the thumbs up? I'll show you later. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We got him. Okay. Cool. <laughs> After this song, I hope to see everybody on cardboard with their thumbs up. But this song is going to be sung by Devin McClive here. This is another song off of the Faustian Spaghetti Western Rock Opera. This is a song that was written from the perspective of uh, our protagonist's mother. Um, the mother w was with the father. They, were, uh, they had a band that they, was called Shit from Shinola, and they used to travel from town to town 
playing empty bars to people that didn't care, but that was their passion, and that's what that's what brought them together. And uh, their son was kind of an afterthought for most of his childhood, until he became the severe center of attention. And uh, this song is uh... Devin. I'll just let you take it away. Okay. <laughs> I'm not here to be silenced I'm not here to be broken I was raised in a system Where doors never open I've been running so long
Ta-da! Devin McClive, everyone. Thank you. So uh, we've reached uh, the end of the show here. We're going to play one more song, then we're going to pretend like we're done, and then we're going to play another song. It's called an encore. We do it all the time in the biz. Paul Simon does it all the time. Beyonce does it. Everybody does it, really. And we're going to do them. it. We're going to do it, too. I feel, look at this circle of trust that we've established with all these lovely-looking, smiling folks. Um, two-dimensional two folks here in the audience. All the 3D folks have masks on so we can't see their big smiling faces, but I can only assume that they're huge smiles right now, right? You guys really do my ego good. Thank you so much for this. It's, uh, it's been such a pleasure and such an honor to be able to play here, and, and uh, I hope everybody's enjoyed it at home. Um, this is another heroic uh, song about drinking too much and having too much fun. We've got a lot of them. But this song is called Rock Bottoms Never Felt So Good. Oh, we've all got our problems. We all have pockets to fill We got our grocery lists and things we've missed Pay our cell phone bills But I spend my nights on the bar scene Where my friends bartend so I drink for free Till the world starts spiraling And I'm poured into the street And I can see it all go down From the lights of this town It is lighting my descent And all the times that I have spent misunderstood Rock bottoms never felt so good Oh, maybe I should start this over Maybe try doing it sober Swear tonight will be the night That I will not wake up hungover But all of a sudden the sun is rising And it's not very surprising That I'm lying on the roof Drinking Jack and railing lines And I can see it all go down From the lights of this town It is lighting my descent And all the times that I have spent misunderstood Come on, cardboard Rock bottoms never fell so good Sounds good, guys Rock bottoms never fell so good Whoa say you can't do this forever I don't intend to prove them wrong but you know even the longest lives don't really last for very long so I'll live it while I've got it and what I've got I'm living fine but when you tell your kids your stories you know they'd all rather hear mine cause I've seen the sunrise from a million different pairs of eyes and I smoke many a cheap cigar drink many or cheaper wines and oh you don't seem so impressed at least as far as I can tell but you know I can play guitar and sing and I can do it pretty well and I owe every lyric or every riff and every song to all the things that I have done even when most of them were wrong but you know that is just my life where nothing ever seems enough you can tell me what you will about my ways and I'll politely tell you to fuck off I missed that laughter and applause. That smattering of applause, thank you. I think you just lost some viewers though. And I can see it all go down from the lights of this town. It is lighting my descent and all the times that I have spent misunderstood.
Thank you very much. One more? Yeah, sure, absolutely. You guys, you guys are in the know. You've heard of the encore before. That's cool. Okay. Taylor Swift does it. Imagine Dragons. I think they do it. I imagine they do. This is our newest song here. Um, and uh, during the time that uh, I was kind of quarantining myself uh, to stay away from the deadly pandemic, I found myself suffering a lot of morons on, on social media. And one of my uh, New Year's resolu resolutions is to not suffer morons anymore. Whenever somebody gets in an argument that I feel is moronic, I will not partake because I don't think that there is anything that I could say that can change anyone's mind. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. Some of their opinions are wrong. And I know it, and you know it, but they don't know it, and they never will. And so rather than just suffer morons on, on social media, I decided to write a love song about uh, two of these po people in love, hanging out in an insane asylum together, finding themselves, finding adventures that none of us would have found on our own. And this song is called Chasing Windmills. Watching Looney Tunes It's an inside job Trying to wag the dog When you're locked in a padded room We may be two sandwiches short Of a picnic basket case But if you take my hand I'll help you understand Why I act this way I hear this cool air Like we got nothing to lose You might be a spy 
so could I And I'd rather be a spy with you I've been searching my whole life For the last clue to crack this case But sometimes when you look too far ahead You can't see what's in front of your face I got my Kool-Aid Down the rabbit hole Off the deep end Chasing windmills We might be crazy everyone in here out there around the world the Sam Chase trio Chandra Johnson on the violin take a bow Chandra Devin McClive on the cello my name is Sam Chase and this is Knuckles the guitar thank you very much have a wonderful night and we're clear <laughs>